Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple had a huge day. iPhone 7, 7 Plus, new watch series 2, and iOS 10. So they did just drop the iOS 10 GM. So what's GM Gold Master? This is the final build of iOS 10, and it's gonna be identical to the final release in just a week here. So I cannot wait until that happens, but for now I wanted to cover this GM release and show you guys what's new. There actually are a few changes. In the last few betas, there was almost nothing. So it's refreshing to see at least a little bit change here. So this actual build number is iOS 10.0.1. If we jump into the settings here, I wanna show you guys that once you guys do update to the Gold Master, which you can do from any beta over here in the software update page, you'll see 10.0.1. It's a very interesting build number, very long now, but that's the 10th iOS beta. So before I get into the other features, I just wanted to share my disdain with Apple. Why did they not add a dark mode? I looked around and I haven't seen anything for night mode. So unfortunately, iOS 10 doesn't ship with that yet. However, hopefully it does come in the future because the space black iPhone 7 Plus looks, oh my gosh, like I cannot wait to get it. I just wanna hold it and put my fingerprints and smudge all over it. It just looks that good. So I cannot wait to get that, but Apple missed out a big opportunity with dark mode in that iPhone. I think they would have blended together well. Hopefully in a future update like Night Shift, we could get that like 9.3 introduced and maybe 10.1, 10.2 will introduce something like that. That'd be really, really cool. But anyways, so what's new? So in health, you'll actually notice that the placeholders for these guys finally work. So there are videos that you can play with them and it'll go ahead and show you the workouts or related videos to that subject. Make that deadline. And there's that one. So really cool stuff. That's one change. In settings, if we go ahead and jump into the phone tab right here, there is a new category for announcing calls. So Siri can now announce who is calling you based on their contact name. Very simple little change, but previously unavailable in the last beta. And iOS 10 Gold Master does occupy more space. So instead of leaving you with 12.16 capacity, now you only get 12.12. .12. So not a big difference, but this latest build does occupy more space on your phone. And there was a notification bug called the notification tap bug where it would freeze. That's been since fixed in this latest gold master. Also, there's a couple other features that aren't new to this version, but I wanted to share them with you anyways. If you're ever inside of an article and you highlight a certain area and then share it, it doesn't even need to be an article, it could be anything from Safari, you'll notice that the hyperlink that it creates will start with that highlighted text, which is actually really handy. So whoever you're sending it to can get that little excerpt right away. And I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but in iOS 10, there is no longer a loading bar in messages like there is up top in iOS 9. If you try and send something now in iOS 10, you'll notice it was intentionally removed. So this is in an attempt to not confuse people because sometimes text messages can be instant and it gives you a feeling of being slow. That's the reasoning behind it from Apple anyways. And in an attempt to compete with Spotify and Apple Music, you'll notice there are new playlists in the For You tab. So this one in particular, my new music mix is tailored to my tastes, which are none because I don't use this, but you'll notice there are new music mixes in the For You tab. So there's iOS 10.0.1 Gold Master Edition. We should be seeing a full release on the 13th. Guys, this is exciting. As always, I recommend you do not update right away because the first version tends to be filled with bugs, even though this release has been pretty freaking stable. I'm surprised at how good it holds up. I really haven't been experiencing much crashing, but then again, I don't run this as my daily. So update with caution when it does drop, but it is pretty stable for what it is. So if any of you guys are wondering about speed, I gotta tell you, wow, I'm very, very impressed with iOS 10. So number one thing that makes it feel fast for me is when you open something and you can immediately close it without needing to wait for the animation to finish like in iOS 9. So this gives you this awesome feeling, like a very, very nice snap to it. Now, this is only available when opening apps or folders, and I gotta say, it's awesome. Also, the lack of an unlock with a slide makes it feel a little bit faster for me personally. But as for numbers, let's go ahead and run a Geekbench on this beta and the last and see if there's any improvement whatsoever with a new Geekbench 4. And here is iOS 10.0.1 on the newest Geekbench. Here is the last 10 beta 8. So pretty consistent results here. Now with iOS 10, we're looking at a major performance increase in animations, not the actual numbers. But I will put this to the test. I'm gonna be comparing iOS 10 Gold Master to iOS 9.3.5 to really see how things have changed across the board of all devices. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have more videos out for you tonight. Peace.